I'll swim up to his castle. Then Flounder will splash around to get his attention. And then go. Once upon a time, in a world beneath the waves, lived a little mermaid named Ariel. She was born into a powerful underwater kingdom and lived a privileged life as the youngest daughter of the Sea King. Despite her luxurious lifestyle, Ariel felt trapped and unfulfilled. She longed to explore the surface world and experience all the wonders that it had to offer. One day, Ariel stumbled upon a group of humans who were shipwrecked near her kingdom. She was immediately captivated by their beauty and grace, and in particular, by a young prince named Eric. She would spend hours each day watching him from afar, entranced by his kindness and laughter. Ariel knew that she could never be with Eric in her mermaid form, so she made a deal with a powerful sea witch who offered to give her legs in exchange for her voice. Ariel agreed, not fully understanding the cost of the trade, as she made her way to the surface world, Ariel's heart swelled with hope and excitement. She was finally going to be able to live the life she had always dreamed of. But things didn't turn out quite as she had hoped. Ariel's legs were painful and weak, making it difficult for her to walk or dance. She struggled to communicate with Eric, as she was no longer able to speak. And as she got closer to him, she began to realize that the humans were not as kind as she had thought. They were cruel and selfish, and the prince was no exception. Eric took advantage of Ariel's inability to speak and used her for his own amusement. He would laugh at her struggles and mock her inability to communicate. Ariel felt more trapped and alone than ever before. As the days passed, Ariel began to realize the true cost of her deal with the sea witch. Her body was slowly deteriorating, and she knew that she didn't have much time left. She desperately tried to find a way to break the curse, but it was too late. One stormy night, Ariel's body finally gave out, and she was cast back into the sea, unable to fulfill her dream of living among the humans. Her spirit was trapped in a purgatory between the sea and the surface world, unable to move on to the afterlife. The Little Mermaid was no more. In her place was a creature of darkness, forever doomed to wander the murky depths of the ocean, her soul trapped in a never-ending nightmare. And so, the once beautiful underwater kingdom was forever changed, its once bright waters now murky and foreboding, as a warning to all who dared to seek happiness outside of their own kind. <laughs>